Hi guys, it's Colette and today I'll be showing you how to do this nail extension using the same products that I usually use to patch my nails. If you're interested in nail art as well as tips and tricks like this, be sure you're subscribed to my channel. And if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. So, as you can see here, I have a little problem. And the problem is really not so much the broken nail. The problem is that I broke it in a parking lot and I lost the tip. Um, if I still had the tip, it would be completely simple. I'm not sure if you can even tell, but this nail has a full break right about here. And I just patched it right back on. I know some people are not a fan of patches and that's perfectly fine, but I like my nails long and I'm willing to do that to keep them long. But since I do not have the tip, I'm going to have to attempt to build a new tip. And I've never successfully done one quite this long. The longest one I've done is actually one I'm currently wearing on my thumb. So I think you can probably tell that my real nail ends about here and the rest of this is all just silk patch and gel. So this is a nail that was patched before. That's part of why it broke off so easily. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, get some acetone and soak off the little bit of gel that is remaining on there. And then I'll be back. Okay, so... The rest of the gel is gone. You can see this nail looks a little bit dry from the acetone and that's actually good for applying the patch. You don't want any oil or any residue on there. And if you've seen my previous patching tutorials, I'm still using pretty much the same products, but a little bit different technique than I used to do. I'm gonna be using these Swiss silk wraps and I've pulled off just one of the tabs that's the correct width for my nail. I've got my ASP Lightless Gel, my Gel Cure Spray, it's also ASP, and then this little bottle here, it's an old Sesh Feet bottle that's just filled with acetone. And that's because the gel does not come with a brush and the acetone keeps the brush from getting too stiff. So. This tab is really quite long, longer than I really need, although I do need a decent sized piece. So I'm just going to cut this about in half like that. I think that should be good. I'm going to go ahead and use a pair of tweezers to pull it up from the tab end. And I try to pull it off with kind of even pressure because it can sort of stretch out. And then I'm just gonna set, stuck on the tweezers like that, set that to the side for a minute. The main thing that I started doing differently is instead of just putting the patch directly on my nail, which you can do since they are self-adhesive, is I lay down a layer of gel first. So I'm going to take my bottle of, uh, acetone and I've got a separate little piece of paper towel here I'm going to take the brush out just wipe off the excess acetone and get it kind of flat then I'm going to squeeze a little bit of gel onto it like that hopefully you guys can see that it's just a little bead of gel I'm going to apply that on the tip of my nail and I'm not going to file this at all. I feel like the little rough edges kind of give the gel more to grip on. I'm going to just go across the edge like that, make sure the tip is well covered and then now I'm going to go with my patch and it's kind of flipping around here and just get a good grip here. I'm going to carefully lay that on there and then with a little orange stick I'm just gonna go ahead and press it into the gel 
so that you get a really good uh, adhesion and just press that all across like that. Then again with my brush and every time I take my brush out I just wipe it off like that and it helps to like I said get it a little bit flat which to me is easier to work with and just make sure that there's no excess acetone and then I'm going to cover the whole base of it slightly below where the edge of the patch is and a good amount of the tip and I might actually need a little bit more gel here now you can see this is pretty floppy it's not really any kind of decent shape and that's the main problem that you're gonna run into when you're building an edge is getting a decent shape out of it but what I'm gonna do once I get this on here is this particular gel does require the spray to set but it gets I kind of want to say not exactly dry but less wet if you just wait a bit so I'm going to just kind of be shaping it as it's getting less wet and then giving it a little bit of blow that seems to help lifting from the bottom can help to shape it and once I just kind of feel like it's getting tacky enough that it's somewhat holding the shape then I'm actually going to take the spray and I'm actually going to just leave my nail right there hopefully this won't get on my camera give it a spray and the spray works really quick so as that's drying continue to shape it a little bit kind of pulling it down on the sides up in the middle and it'll just start to get stiff you'll you'll feel the change and I'm not worried too much about the shape yet I just don't want it to get like really floppy and really weird at this stage and because you're working on the patch rather than directly on your nail even as it's fully dry it's still gonna be somewhat flexible so I'm gonna give this just about another minute to fully cure and then we'll go on to the next step I'm still not too worried about the actual shape of this but I do have more than I need so I'm gonna cut off a little bit of the tip just to make it easier to work with and eventually if this doesn't work I'm just going to see what I can accomplish and if necessary trim down the rest of my nails to match but for now we're gonna add another coat and we're actually gonna be adding it on the underside so I'm going to wipe off my brush here get a little bit of the gel and apply it on the underside of the silk wrap try not to get it on your skin I mean you can eventually peel it off but I mean it's not a very pleasant feeling I'm sure it's probably not very good for your skin just make sure that's thin layers cure easier and just gonna give it a spray and this time I'm going to again kind of try to shape it from the top and a little bit from the bottom so just to give it a more natural curve a little bit and whoa just knocked over my little bottle of acetone but thankfully it didn't spill that much the top was on it just wasn't screwed on so I'm not sure if you guys can tell the difference here but just by kind of pressing down the sides as it's curing I'm getting it to hold a little bit more of a normal shape and I think the shape of my nails right now um, with a little bit of a taper will also help me to get this looking as normal as possible so once that's you know decent I'm going to add another coat and this time I'm going to be applying it on top of the nail 
So get the gel and I'm really concentrating on the tip because I mean obviously this little piece of silk if you want it to hold up as a nail it needs to be fairly thick and fairly hard by the time you are really done with all this. Give it another spray and again as it's curing just kind of go in at the edges to guide it into a not weird shape. At about this point is where I feel like I can tell if it's going to turn out decently or not and this isn't perfect but I think it's workable. Hopefully maybe you see like this you can see I formed not a perfect C curve but it's at least not just straight across. It is a little bit misshapen in this direction so I'm going to be adding coats to both sides the top and the bottom but when I add to the top I'm going to be trying to build this into a more natural shape. Um, it doesn't really make this any easier that this index finger is one of my nails that can tend to curve a lot um, so even usually it's not a completely what most people would call a normal nail shape but you know sometimes it will even look more normal when it's patched than when it's just uh, completely my natural nail so I'm just gonna do a couple more layers on the top a couple more layers on the bottom with the cure spray in between each one Exactly how many coats it takes is going to vary depending on how thick your coats are but you'll be able to tell when it feels you know a lot sturdier so then the next part is to really kind of move on and concentrate on the shaping like you can see here I've got a little bit that's over the edge the tip is obviously not very smooth so with my uh, nail file I'm just gonna start shaping it. I mean, just like a regular nail. Um, a little bit difficult to do on camera, but it'll file down, and if you needed to take off a huge amount, you could also use a little pair of scissors again, but at this point, I pretty much start going just with the nail file to shape it down the way I like, and like I said, filing on camera is not the easiest. Hopefully you guys can see um, generally what I'm talking about. I'm going to finish shaping this off camera so I can get a better angle at it and then I'll be back. Okay, almost done now, really. Um, hopefully, maybe if I do like this. There. Um, so there, I've, you can see I have shaped the nail so that it's a more normal nail shape and now I'm going to add one more layer of gel and with the final layer, I like to kind of cap around the edges. So with my first little drop of gel here, I'm going to go at the very tip and on the sides and use up the rest of that on the underside. Make sure it's nice and smooth since you can't really effectively buff the underside of your nail and then use a little bit more to finish off on the top and try to get that as smooth as smooth as possible too although I will be buffing that then I'm going to spray this and let it cure and then I'll be back one more time I don't know why I said one more time there's just one more step but as I'll be doing part of it off camera it's going to be more than just one more clip um, the final thing I like to do for a patch, or in this case an extension, is to buff out the top. Um, it's still, even if you try to go really smooth, usually it'll be a little bit lumpy or a little bit weird. So I'm just going to buff across the top with the blue side and the pink side of my buffer. So, I mean, you guys know how to buff nails. 
hope, probably. But this is another one that I find easier to do off camera. So I'm just going to do this until it's very smooth. And then I'll be back one more time. Okay, here we are all buffed. And of course, you don't want to buff on your natural nail too much. A little bit is kind of hard to avoid, but try to stay mainly on the patch. And now I'm just going to get a Q-tip with some acetone and I haven't wiped off any of the dust and just swipe over it and I feel like the dust kind of melts into the patch and it helps give a nice finish so it's a little bit hard to see against this white background maybe if I get my file here again you can see the final product the final extension and I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. I've still got a little bit of a weird curve from the side, like there's a little bit of a dip in it, but I'll see when I paint my nails, it may or may not be obvious at that point. And if necessary, you can certainly go ahead and add another layer of gel to kind of help uh, reshape it further if needed. A couple last things I wanted to mention in regards to wear. The first is, as far as it being like clear, it's not going to stay that clear. As you can see from my thumb, it's gotten quite a bit cloudier. You can't just completely see through it anymore. And as far as lifting, you can see I don't really have any lifting on this one around the edges. And I've had this on for a couple weeks. So... I found that's the main difference with applying the gel before the silk wrap is that I get a lot less lifting and it let me get a lot longer wear out of it. So I think that's everything. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. But as always, thanks for watching.